Hello there friends, welcome to this video. Let's begin with the LTC chemistry half rent test one solution. Which of the following does not show geometrical isomerism? Of course, this compound because there are two similar groups joined to the doubly bonded carbon atom. Percentage sulfur would be the molar mass of sulfur divided by the molar mass of the compound in which it is precipitated, which is barium sulfate. The molar mass of barium sulfate is 233. Multiplied by the mass of the compound precipitated at 0.233 divided by the mass of the original compound which is 0.32 and because we are calculating percentage so 100. So you work it out it will come out to be 10 percent. Numbering would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because double bond would be given priority and hence the name would be 5 methoxy 3 nitro cyclohex 1e. 2 butene is this. In reductive ozonolysis, zinc uh, in presence of zinc, reductive ozonolysis occurs. So double bond will uh, bond will break, and one oxygen will attach here, one oxygen will attach here, and we will get two equivalents of acetaldehyde. First, Br2 will attach across the double bond. Product would be this, and then alcoholic QH and sodamide. Two rounds of beta elimination will give propyne and then dilute H2SO4 in presence of HGSO4 will add one equivalent of water as per Markovnikov manner and you can see this is enol form it will tautomerize to the more stable keto form so the final product would be acetone right when 2 methyl butene is heated with acetic potassium permanganate then again because it's strong oxidizing agent so double bond cleaves and we get one equivalent of acetone and one equivalent of acetic acid. Ethanol is an alcohol whereas methoxymethane is an ether so of course same molecular formula but different functional groups so they are related to each other as functional isomers. In question number 58 the reactant is 2233 tetra bromo butane. On heating with zinc, debromination occurs and we get two pi bonds here and the product is butyne. and you must know that the hybridization of the triply bonded carbon atom is sp so the bond angle is 180 degrees right. So all these four carbon atoms are linear. So uh, the correct answer is this one. Tertiary carbon is most easily oxidizable. So this carbon will undergo oxidation uh, to give you tertiary alcohol, right? So this would be the correct answer. Butane can be isomerized to 2-methylpropane in presence of al 3 The hydrolysis of calcium carbide will give acetylene, which on hydration will give acetaldehyde and which on reduction will give you ethanol. Which of the following is not aromatic and not planar? Of course, cyclooctatetraene this molecule exists in non-planar form, puckered form to avoid anti-aromaticity. So it is, we call it, it is tub shaped like this. Okay, so this is the correct answer. HBr peroxide, so anti-Markovnikov addition, it will give you CH3, CH2, CH2, Br and peroxide does not work in case of HCl, it works in only, only in case of HBr. Right, so in case of HCl, it will be normal Markovnikov addition, and this would be the major product. Halogens are weakly deactivating but orthon para directing because of the lone pair. Alanine is not an essential amino acid, right? All the following are essential amino acids except so valine, methionine, and lysine, they are essential. Narrow spectrum antibiotic is penicillin. Nitrogen base, which is present in RNA but not in DNA, of course, uracil, that is the correct answer. Which of the following organic compounds polymerizes to form the polyester decron? Yes, terephthalic acid. So, this is terephthalic acid. And ethylene glycol, so it is an ester. Biodegradable polymer is, of course, nylon 2, nylon 6, which is the monomers of which are a glycine and amino caproic acid. 
Aspirin is an analgesic. It's acetyl salicylic acid. Of course, uh, CL and BR are exchanging the position, so they are ionization isomers. One ionizes to give bromide, and other ionizes to give chloride. HClO4 is the strongest acid because it has the highest oxidation state and chlorine is electronegative. Most basic hydroxide is lanthanum because of lanthanide contraction. Of course, the IUPAC name would be potassium hexacyanoferrate. You can calculate the oxidation state, which will come out to be plus 2. So, this will be the correct answer. Glucose contains 6 carbon atoms, so it is an aldohexose, it is not an aldopentose. A nucleoside contains a 5 carbon sugar, uh, sugar and a nitrogenous base, whereas a nucleotide contains 5 carbon sugar, nitrogenous base, and phosphoric acid. Which of the following is not a property of solids? Solids are always just like, no, they can also be amorphous. KMnO4 and oxalic acid are reacting. So, in any titration, the gram equivalents are always equal. So, gram equivalents of KMnO4 would be equal to the gram equivalents of oxalic acid. Now, the n factor of KMnO4 is 5 because it goes from plus 7 to plus 2, whereas the n factor of oxalic acid is are 2 because each carbon atom goes from plus 3 to plus 4. Now, gram equivalence is normality multiplied by volume. So, normality multiplied by volume of KMnO4 is equal to normality multiplied by volume of oxalic acid. Normality itself is molarity multiplied by n factor. So, n factor is 5 and molarity of KMnO4 is 0 0.02 multiplied by its volume is 20 ml is equal to for oxalic acid n factor is 2. Molarity we have to find out and the volume is 10 ml, right? So, of course, this will cancel out and molarity would come out to be 0 0.1. Which of the following is a strong electrolyte? Of course, barium chloride because weak base, weak base, weak acid. In a heterogeneous catalytic reaction, catalyst and the reactants must be in the same phase. Here, one is liquid, other is solid. So, this is a heterogeneous catalysis. Of course, aerosol, aerosol and hydrosol. The contribution of particle at the edge center in a cubic unit cell is 1 by 4 because each edge center particle is shared with 4 neighboring unit cells, right? In total, 4 unit cells like this. So, one here, another there and 2 unit cells on the top. Which of the following conducts more electricity? Sulfuric acid because it is a strong acid, whereas boric acid, acidic acid and phosphorus acid, they are weak acids. Molality units, of course, mole per kg, moles of solute per kg of the solvent. Hydrolysis of HCF2 gives xenon, HF and oxygen. Oxygen is oxidized, whereas xenon is reduced. Bismuth salts are very good oxidizing agents. Of course, this is because of inert pair effect, uh, due to which plus 3 state is more stable than plus 5. So, both statements are correct. Any soul is methoxybenzene. You know that because of partial double bond character, this bond is, will not cleave. This bond will cleave. So, we will get phenol and iodomethane in this case, right? So, phenol would be one of the products. One butanol on conch, uh, reaction with conch H2O4 will give butuene. Actually, the less stable uh, one butyl carbocation will rearrange to more stable carbocation and we will get then butuene. And now, if you reacted with acidic KMnO4, of course, it will give you two equivalents of ethanoic acid. So, this is the correct answer. Okay, the activation energy is represents the energy below which colliding molecules will not react. Of course, this is the minimum amount of uh, energy, right, required to be possessed by the molecules for a successful collision. The gas which has uh, highest attractive forces, the strongest attractive forces will be most easily adsorbed. So, sulfur dioxide. Silica is, a, uh, is not a basic flux. Of course, it is an acidic flux. Most stable allotropic form of sulfur is, of course, rhombic, uh, mainly rhombic sulfur, monoclinic sulfur. Below 369 Kelvin, of course, at room temperature, rhombic sulfur is more stable. Tertiary butylamine, so it would be this. So, of course, this is primary amine. Secondary butylamine, so of course, this is also primary amine. Isobutylamine, again, this is primary amine. But dimethylamine is secondary amine. So, there are three primary means here. Noble gas with the highest positive electron enthalpy is neon. MnO4 minus on reduction in acidic medium gives Mn2 plus. N factor is 5. 
boiling point is correct and yes uh, hydrogen bonding then dipole dipole forces and dispersion forces so both the statements are correct phenolphthalein is obtained by heating thalic acid uh, thalic anhydride with conch h2so4 and phenol so it occurs somewhat like this so you just have to remove this water and uh, join these two carbon atom uh, with this carbon okay so that will give you phenolphthalein so this is the correct answer which of the following is not an example of solution benzene is not miscible with water of course so they will not form a homogeneous mixture which is by definition a solution uh, this bond will ionize to give only one mole of chloride per complex per mole of complex so uh, we get we will get one mole of agcl of course and the molar mass of agcl is 143.5 the unit of rate of reaction remains constant irrespective of the order so it will remain concentration at time which is mole per liter per minute the alkene which is most reactive towards acidic hydration is the one which gives most stable carbocation okay so this is the most stable carbocation tertiary so this alkene would be the most reactive the stable trihalide of nitrogen is nf3 because of the strong nitrogen fluorine bond ncl3 is explosive weak ncl bond ni3 and nbr3 they don't exist in pure state uh this is a nucleophilic attack of the grignard reagent on the carbon atom of hcl all right so this will give you ch3 ch double bond n minus mg uh, i plus and followed by hydrolysis this would be replaced by an oxygen atom so the product would be as aldehyde which is acetaldehyde thank you guys